Edge computing is the distributed information technology architecture or as IT architecture in which client data is processed at the periphery of the network uh, as close to the originating source as possible. <laughs> like IoT, cloud, before it. Edge means everything and nothing. In today's video, I have come up with a very useful definition and some possible applications for this buzzword technology. The advent of edge computing as a buzzword you should perhaps pay attention to this, the realization by these companies that there is a much growth left in the cloud space. Almost everything that can be centralized has been centralized. Most of the new opportunities for the cloud lie at the edge. Okay, so why is this edge computing? What is this buzzword? The word edge in this context means little geographical uh, distribution. Edge computing is the computing that's done at or near the source of data instead of relying on the cloud and one of a dozen data centers to do all the work. It doesn't mean that cloud will disappear, but it means the cloud is coming to you. Okay, let's get the, it this way. Data is the lifeblood of modern business, providing valuable business insights and supporting real-time control over, the, over critical business processes and operations. Today's business are awash or in, a, in an ocean of data uh, that huge amounts of data can be routinely collected from sensors and IoT devices operating in real time uh, from remote locations and in hospitable and operating environments almost anywhere in the world. But this virtual flood of data is also changing the way businesses handle computing. The traditional computing paradigms built on centralized data center and everyday internet is well suited uh, to the moving and lastly dropping river of real-time data. Bandwidth limitations, latency issues, and uh, unpredictable network disruptions can all conspire to impair such efforts. Businesses are responding to these data theft challenges through the use of its computing architecture. So, Let's see, how does this edge computing work? Edge computing is all a matter of location. The physical architecture of the edge can be complicated. But the basic idea is that client devices connect to a nearby edge module for more responsive uh, processing uh, and smoother operations. Terminology varies. So you will hear the modules called edge gateways or edge uh, servers. Uh, among the others. Traditional enterprise computing, data is produced at a client endpoint such as user's computer. The data is moved across a WAN, wide area network, the, such as the internet, which is the best example, uh, through the corporate LAN, local area network, uh, where the data is stored and worked upon by enterprise application. The results uh, of that work, they are then uh, conveyed back to the client endpoint. This remains as a proven and time-tested approach to client server computing for most typical uh, business applications. Its computing puts storage and servers where the data is, often requiring little more than a partial rack of uh, gear to operate uh, on the remote LAN to collect and process the data locally. In many cases, the computing gear is deployed in shielded or hardened enclosures to protect the gear from uh, extreme of temperature, moisture, and other environmental conditions. Processing often involves normalizing and analyzing the data, uh, data streams to look for uh, business intelligence and only the results of the analysis are sent back to the principal data center. So, basically we can say that edge computing allows data from IoT devices to be analyzed at the edge of the network uh, before being sent to the data center or to cloud. Now, let's see what are the edge computing's use cases. In principle, edge computing techniques are used to collect, 
filter, process and analyze data in place at or near the network edge. There are many different use cases as there are users, everyone's arrangements will be different. But there are several industries that have been particularly at the forefront of edge computing. So, let's have a look at some real world examples. Number one, manufacturing and heavy industry. Manufacturing and heavy industry use edge hardware as an enabler for delaying intolerant applications keeping the processing power of things like automated coordinations of heavy machinery on a factory floor as close to where it's needed. The manufacturer can now make faster and more accurate business decisions regarding the factory facilities and uh, manufacturing operations. Number two, farming. Consider a business that grows crops uh, indoors without sunlight, soil or pesticides. The process reduces grow time by, 60, uh, by more than 60%. Using sensors enables the business to track water use, nutrient density, and determine optimal harvest. Data is collected and analyzed to find effects of environmental factors and continually improve the crop growing algorithms to ensure the crops are being harvested in peak conditions. Number three, network optimization. Its computing can help to optimize network performance by measuring performance for users across the internet. In effect, its computing is used to steer traffic across the network for optimal sensitive traffic performance. Number four, workplace safety. And number five, improve healthcare. Number six, transportation. Let me give you the final example. It is in retailing. Its computing can help to analyze this diverse data and identify business opportunities. Retailers can use edge nodes as an in-store clearing house for a host of different functionality, time point of sale data together, uh, together with targeted uh, promotions, tracking foot uh, traffic and more unified store management applications. So here we are. After having gained some knowledge on edge computing, what is it, how it works, and what are the use cases? Personally, I have some fears about edge computing, but I won't dive in completely. But the big picture is that the companies who do it the best will control even more of your life experience than they do right now. In the case of like, you know, when the devices in your home, garage are being managed by Google, Amazon, Microsoft or Apple, uh, you don't have to worry about uh, security, updates, functionality or capabilities. You will just take what you are given and use it at the best you can. In this worst case world, you will wake up in the morning and will ask uh, Siri, Alexa, Cortana or Assistant what features your corporate overloads have pushed to your toaster, dishwasher, or car, or even your phone overnight? In the personal computing era, you would install software, but in edge computing era, you will use it. Sometimes it's kind of okay, kind of easy to give your steering wheel to somebody else and take your hands off, but what if you don't like where they are going? Okay, everyone. I think today's uh, video was very helpful for you all and I'm hoping to bring you another interesting and a trending topic in my next video as well. So if you are still new to Texas Circle, go ahead and subscribe us and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any of my new videos. And don't forget to hit the thumb up and uh, just comment yourself down in the comment section. And if you want to go through my previous videos as well, you can find the links down below in the comment section. Okay, so until we meet in our next video, bye-bye, thank you.